guys, Matt, welcome back to the show. And today, uh, I've got a quick one. We're going to get to this clutch stuff soon. As you, can see. Oh, fucking hell. as you can see, I've got the clutch, the actual clutch. We're going to be getting to that real soon. Uh, I've just got to record the video, basically. Um, but, no, this is a different video. You know, I like to mix things up a bit and so on. So this is a bit of a, a homework. This is a question video. So, uh, let's... We look at the R125, and if you look at the comments of that video, those guys love me calling that. Oh, they get such a bloody wind, John. Let me bring you a bit closer so you can see better. Because this is just a shop chat video, so the wobbly camera and stuff is allowed. It happens all the time, any road. Right, so there. Right, and what we've got is we have a difference between these two right so this produces the 125 produces about 14 horsepower and the R1 according to Yamaha and this while using a Yamaha produces 116 right and both engines produce uh, their power so we'll look at peak power the R1 produces it at, now it's about 13, but we'll just call it 14 because that's what it's restricted to. 9,500 RPM. And the R6, I said R1 before, that's wrong, does it at 14,500 Ripums. Right, awesome. And obviously there's a difference in CC. Right, so if we divide this by the CC and then times it by uh, basically, we want to get like you do on the packet, a back at the back of a packet of crisps. What is it per 100 grams? So we're going to call this what is it per 100 CC? So this bike makes 11.2 horsepower um, for every 100 CC. And then this one makes 19.3 horsepower per 100cc, right? So that's a big difference, right? We've got this difference of 8.1, right? So there's an 8.1 horsepower difference. So the question is, for this video, and I want people to see, because we're going to go into detail with just this, right? Both engines have four valves per cylinder. Both engines have quite um, advanced uh, porting, you know what I mean? They're both made by Yamaha. They're both made at the same time. This one is based on this to look like it, stuff like that. Uh, yes, there is a... Uh, RPM difference, but looking at graphs and stuff, I want people to do their homework and see if they know. Now, you can just guess, right? You can just say, oh, it's because it's more horse, you know, more whatever, more, um, more ripums, more whatever, right? The fact of the matter is, is per cc, this one makes a lot more horsepower than this one. Why? Specifically why? And if you can, what is the difference? Right? Why? If we just get 600cc, the difference between this and the 125cc, right? It, this is 4.8 times greater. But we've, we've, we've scaled these back down to 100cc each. So yes, this is greater. This is greater cc, right? This is, you know, the 600 is a lot more than the 125. But per 100cc, there is still this, this difference. So why is there this difference? Why? Because they are still burning the same fuel. If you work it out, what is the difference? What is the overall difference? 
hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit and just a bit on the end of this um, you know you can get uh, you can get graphs on the Facebook page I'll put up some graphs of actual tested dinos and you can I'll also publish a table just showing the RPM and the difference in horsepower between each two and then the divisions of them so basically scale to be the same you know you could get this R6 and divide it out into four cylinders so the 150 and so it's 150 versus 125 and look at it that way regardless you always get this difference this overall difference it's not a 1.8 horsepower difference it's a percentage difference you know what is it about that and um, the answer is quite complicated and really quite interesting so uh, get on it fucking get on it you think you know engines get on it